Hi, brother. Hey, how are you? Long time, man. I've been Very waiting nice to see you. To see you. I've really been nice waiting to see for you. years to see your van in, in the full setup. Here we go. It, it looks absolutely beautiful. Um, Thank you. How long does it take you to set up? Not too long, this one. I've yeah? Still, I've only just got it, so it's just uh, learning the ways and um, like, you know, shortcuts. It looks, it looks it's stunning. It's progress. It's all going to evolve and go higher up and more depth. Um, I should, I don't know if I asked you, how are you? Everything's brilliant. Yeah. The King Summer. Oh, okay. I'm hungry for the Murray. You know, it helps in this weather. Of you course, know. right? So the same, same menu? Um, yeah. So you, we've, we've got a drink today. We've got a, like a ginger potion. It's like oh. Like, uh, fresh ginger with licorice root. And I use a little bit of black pepper and a little bit of cardamom. Wow. And I just boil, boil, boil. Well, let's simmer it for a long time. You know, like four or five hours. So it's a little spicy, but uh -huh. it's also sweet naturally with the liquid. There's no sugar. It's like a dog for the sweet. You just it's, have it in a small glass and it kind it of... It sounds like a Yeah, in, I'm sure it In a way. It could be. Yeah. Ginger, but even though you've named it ginger liquid potion, yeah. I'm, I'm sure... It's the the um, the spirits have made you come up with this potion. I'm going to have to definitely get that. Um, there we are. Thank you. I'm, I'm going to look forward to this. First, you taste the licorice. It's got that little bit of a, a ginger heat and then a little bit of, it's almost like a tea heat, I'm assuming that's from the, uh, it's the black pepper. pepper. Yeah, kind of more in the throat. And uh, you haven't got any um, sugar in here. Yeah, it's just the natural the licorice. And it's still got that sweetness yeah. in there. Yeah. It's absolutely delicious. Yeah, it's good, Thank it? you. Well, give me power. Yeah. How is that? Oh, yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, that's it. That's right. Oh, okay, it's you. Kaveen. Kaveen. Oh, nice to meet you, Kaveen. So, yeah, and I'm also working on a sweet, sweet version of salmon. So, oh. using fruit. He has like a little bit of dates, he has some crystallized ginger, and he has some cacao, which is like, like a bitter flavor. Then he has some crisp coconut flakes, a few sesame uh -huh. seeds. And the spicing, I use a little chat masala, but mm -hmm. also I have like a, a sweet masala mix, which is like um, cinnamon, fennel, you know, the two things, and black pepper, and um, the lime. And then I finished off with some mango puree. You, so it's like... Uh, oh, yeah. you, 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 you've uh, made me feel hungry for that yeah, already. No, it's nice, that one. So it's a, it's a bit like a fruit chat, but taking a fruit chat into the jar mode. Because, you know, you could use, yeah. you know, you can use apples. So you, uh, for the sweetness, you're using fruit instead of sugars. Yeah, exactly. And well, it's, misty, kind of misty, misty mori. Yeah, yeah. So this is the misty mori. Oh, like, right. Misty is like sweet. Uh, as in misty goi. Misty, misty. Right, okay. So it's a sweet dal mori. It's a little, yeah, exactly. I'm working on it. It's uh -huh. kind of work in progress. So you have the mori. Yeah. Then it's I a put a little bit of chana dal in. Yeah. And a little bit of peanut. And then we start... Um, a little date on And then you have a little bit of uh, crystal ginger. And this is like good stuff. You know, it's like organic ginger, and the organic ginger is much stronger. It's much more flavor. So the idea is to have, still you have like the kind of a little bit of chili, and you have a little bit of the, the, the onion, and a little bit of the, the fresh ginger. But then you have these like sweet elements coming through. We don't use so much onion. And this is just a sliver of fresh ginger. And your cones, Dalmory cones are free farm. Yeah. What's the price on same, this? Same, same. Oh, it's the same price. Yeah, yeah, same price. And then we just put a little bit of chili in there. Mm -hmm. A little bit of chat masala, but then also we put in uh, this is like a different masala mix. It's like a sweet masala mix. It's cinnamon and uh, fennel and a little bit of black pepper. Okay. It's the two sweet, sweet coming from cinnamon oil. And a bit of coconut chips. And we have some 
lime. And then, oh, strawberries, strawberries, yeah. You can use peaches, I've used, which is nice, but that's like, English summer, strawberries, you know, fresh English strawberries in the fields of Kent. So it's kind of moving a little bit towards fruit chat. is the bitter chocolate before, you know, the cow the is the chocolate, so it's like a bitter flavor. And then we put a little bit of sesame seed in there, mm -hmm. first the sesame seed. And then, this is like mango puree. Is there? Have you have you added it up ever? This cat. This cat. There we are. Thank you, brother. There we are. Thank you very much. All right, so let's have a taste of this and tell you what it tastes like. So first taste, first bite, it's an explosion of flavors, an explosion of textures in my mouth. I've got the sweetness from the sauce, sauces there. You can taste a little bit of the mango in the, in the sauce there. Got some crunchiness, got some savory um, spiciness from the grand fry noodles. Got some crunch from the... Um, noodles as and well. And you got the taste of the uh, coconut as well, the dried coconut. And then you've got the, the, the delicious sweetness of the strawberry. A fantastic orchestra of deliciousness in your mouth. The fact that it's been made fresh, it's still got that crunch to it, it hasn't gone soggy. The flavors um, are perfectly um, complementing each other. Now I've come to the dates there and the onions. Some tanginess, some zestiness. Always love fresh strawberries, especially when they're British strawberries as well. Exceptionally sweet. Not sickly sweet because he hasn't used sugar in this. He's used uh, the natural sweetness of the date natural sweetness of the, the strawberry. I've just had a bite of the uh, ginger. You've got the heat from the ginger there and the chilies. And the ginger is crystallized ginger. And that's got its own unique fieriness. Absolutely delicious, brother. Um, that's good to hear. Really well balanced. Yeah. And really nice without processed sugar. Yeah. Um, using the sweetness of the fruits and the dates. Yeah. Really, Did you really have good. a chance to have um, the Indian mangoes this year? The... Yeah, yeah, I've had a few Alfonso. honey mangoes, uh, the Alfonso's I call it. Yes, Obviously, I saw you last time, a year and a half ago, at the Alchemy Festival. Right, yeah. I get a lot of questions about you. Where can they catch you? Where they, where, how can they catch up with you? Well, um, I mean, it's a bit tricky sometimes because I come and go, and it's very much weather dependent. And the nice thing is, like, when you can be very free, and you can go anywhere, then it's a nice reading. And then I don't always have my phone with me, it runs out of power, so you say, I'll put it on Instagram or Facebook or whatever, but sometimes you just come do it, and then, so it's a bit so, like a draw. Um, I know you've said um, people just have to find you when they find you, Yeah. but I would, I would how, uh, suggest how I found you today mm. is actually just look on your social media. Yeah, exactly. On I'm, your Instagram. I need to just to have one social media thing. Because you see, yeah. sometimes I look on Twitter and then you look on Facebook. And to manage them when you're trying to be. It's little, time it's, consuming. It takes a bit of time, it does. You know, yep. you have to have the reception and then you have the power runs out. Da, 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 da. So but I need to get the social media <laughs> thing, like a Twitter. You know, yeah, I'm going to get. Yeah, what, what inspires you? What inspired you to create? 
something so beautiful, so Indian-like. I love the way the Indians dress up. You know, the way they dress their temples, the way they dress themselves. They, they, they have a great sense of colour. And colour really affects the way people act. I like colour, so I like being around colour. But it draws people in. It's like, you know, a colourful flower brings in the bees. So you have something that looks colourful, and I like it. It's dressing the stall, it's you creating this thing of a, an atmosphere. It's a thing of beauty, hopefully. And then they come in, they're drawn, they relax because it's nice colours, and then they smell the things, and then they eat the food. So it's the whole package. You know, and ideally you have some music going, you have some incense maybe, so you just work on all the senses. So it's just like things that make people bigger. It's, it's, um, it's a very subliminal yeah. level of... Um, you know, the Indian guys, they understand. It, they? They're masters. Please they're keep masters. doing what you do. Thank you. Don't change a thing. Um, I love, absolutely love what you do. Um, you are the, you are the Jao Muri master of London. Um, I, I say that to you. I, I've um, crowned you the Jalmuri uh, oh, must, <laughs> um, and I think a lot of other people would say the same as well. well. There aren't enough doing it. There needs to be more people. There, there and needs... I, want to, I want to show people. So if anyone wants to learn, they get in touch with me. I'll show. Them. Excellent. So who does what you do and recreates it, and maybe the Indian people who try and do street food in England try and westernise it. And that's a mistake they made. Mm. Whereas you've embraced the Indian uh, visual aspect of it and evolved it. So thank you for doing that. And hopefully I'll catch up with you again soon. Look forward to it. Yeah, it's um, always nice to see you. Thank you. God bless you for what you do. Pleasure. And hopefully I'll catch you again one day. Thank you. Bye bye.